everyone. I'm greeting you all with greetings of peace. My name is Hafsa Abdurazak Okwayo. And I've just been asked to give you a brief insight into my journey into GIMP and just some advices. So, like I said before, my name is Hafsa Okwayo and I'm a third year medical student at Fitz University and I got in via the GIMP route. I matriculated in 2016 um, and I've always wanted to get into medicine. I've always known that I've wanted to get into medicine and become a doctor one day. So naturally in matric I applied for I applied for medicine. It was my first choice and after doing some research and just um, asking around I came across Bachelor of Health Sciences. So Bachelor of Health Sciences then became my second choice because it was sold to me as if you don't get into medicine first time around then apply for getting do BHSC and after that then you get into medicine so that's what I did I applied for Bachelor of Health Sciences in medicine I didn't get in for medicine unfortunately <laughs> or oh, fortunately um, BHSC taught me a lot um, but I didn't get into BHSC and I think maybe the reason why I didn't get into medicine was because um, my NBT results were really bad <laughs> So um, my NVT results weren't that great. And I also matriculated with five A's. I also matriculated with five A's um, at the end of matric. So I then got accepted for Bachelor of Health Sciences. I accepted the offer and I got in. First year went pretty well. Um, it was just, you know, the basic things, your physics and chemistry and your biology with some, some sociology and psychology. And the only difficult with first year was just juggling, you know, the workload was a lot compared to high school, juggling the long hours, you know, the lectures. That was the only difficulty that came with first year, but we overcame that. Um, and first year went. And we then got into second year. Um, going into second year, my thoughts were, okay, there's just three subjects. Um, everything's gonna be okay it's a lot less than the seven you did in first year and you're gonna have a lot more time to do the things you like and just have fun um, yeah no <laughs> I got the shock of my life when I got into second year three subjects and the workload was triple that what we did in first year it was just a lot of work it was a lot of hours that I had to go into just trying to excel in those three subjects and there was this thing called exemption it was just hanging over your head so exemption is getting an average of 60% um, before the final exam so that you don't have to write the final exam and the final exam is composed of everything that you've done from the beginning of the year so you don't want to write the final exam <laughs> um, so yeah exemption was the goal in 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 second year and you think ah oh, 60% oh, it's so easy I mean it's getting 70s in first year what's a 60% you know and you get into second year and that 60% is the most difficult thing to get just that 60% <laughs> but you work at it you work at it and you continue working at it and you don't give up until you get it because you have your end goal in mind and even those second year was really hard and was challenging um, it was relevant you know you started seeing the relevancy of where you were going uh, with your goals um, the physiology and the anatomy you know and the molecular medicine and you're surrounded by all of these people who are supposed to serve as your role models you know so your lecturers are doctors you you bump into friends or acquaintances that you know the cafeteria and they're They've achieved their dream and they're you know they're now working in the hospital or they're um, working towards achieving their dream so the motivation was there you know the motivation was definitely there you're at med, med campus now not on main anymore so you're surrounded by all the motivation you'd ever need <laughs> you'd ever need so um my motivation was there and i just continued working um for that exemption <laughs> Exemption also meant you started your holiday early, 24th of October, and you were on holiday because there was, you know, no final exam for you. And I eventually did manage to exempt with some difficulty in physiology, it showed me some flames, 
but we made it you know we made it and um like i said before my goal in second year was to just try and get you know above 60 percent for all my three subjects and but we also did fundamentals of health and disease in bachelor of health sciences and the thing is you were we were in the same class with the with the medics so the the students who got in from medicine from first year and we did the exact same thing you know the only thing they, did, they didn't do was fundamentals of health and disease so you were in the exact same class so you know the work was just going on and on and on and eventually did manage to exempt um i got exempted and was now waiting for third year and my goal in third year was to now try and increase my average because to get into GIMP, they take the average of your last two years. So that was my goal now to try and work my average. Um, I chose MCB, Medical Cell Biology, as my major in third year. And that was partly because I really wanted to do something new and exciting. And also because MCB would also allow me to get into forensic science, which is the honors option that I wanted to get into should I not get into medicine and I think that's another thing that I want that I think you should keep in mind is yes medicine is your goal but there is a possibility that you might not get in okay there is a possibility that straight after grade would not be your time to get in you know maybe you'd get in after your honors so you need to have that um I don't want to call it a backup plan, but you need to have a backup plan. <laughs> you know, you need to have that option of if I don't get into medicine, what other passion do I have? You know, what else can I do in the meantime while I wait for that acceptance letter into uh, into medicine? And mine was forensic science. I forensic science, yes. I really enjoyed the idea of it and you know what it entailed and um, I did some job shadowing and I really enjoyed it. So I was like, yes, forensic science. Um, so that's why I did MCB and eventually did my third year and I graduated in 2019 with an average of 71% and that was just a waiting game. So now we wait. Um, I waited and I waited and I waited and I, <laughs> and I waited for my acceptance letter to come and um, there were different cohorts of acceptance, so I had friends that also um, uh, applied for GIMP and they were getting accepted and I was like, okay, what's happening, what's happening, <laughs> when's mine coming? But um, I think in that period it's important to not lose hope, it's important to not um, become demoralized, okay, because remember you've still got your other passion. <laughs> just waiting should you not get into 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 GIMP so I had then already started accepting okay GIMP is not coming it was a first week already they had started class and I was like okay I'm not getting in now I should start accepting it and just you know now focus on doing my honors in forensic science um, but the offer did come <laughs> and it came in two weeks into the third year GAM class. So I got my acceptance letter two weeks after everybody had already started class and oh boy was I happy. Okay, the joy and the <laughs> the excitement that you get once you open your portal and you just see that acceptance letter was just amazing. So the hard work eventually did pay off even though it was uh, two weeks later I was not going to complain. I accepted the offer and I got in. So um yeah and and here i am now you know doing what i want to do and doing what i love and what i just want to tell you guys or just some pointers is why i didn't write the web is because at bits doing a bachelor of health sciences i did my bachelor of health sciences in biomedical sciences and that because in your second year you do physiology anatomy and molecular medicine and that's what gets tested in the web and like I mentioned before, if you exempt your your second year, you exempt the WEPT. So I was exempt from that, so I didn't have to write the WEPT test. Um, some advices that I would give you. Firstly, work hard. That's what I'd say. I'd say work hard and just never lose sight of your goal. You know, because it is possible. We have people who've gotten in after honors. We have people who've gotten in after their masters. 
We have people who have families and businesses that are in our class right now. So if it's your goal and it's your passion, it's what you really, really want to do, put in your work and just never lose sight of it. You might get derailed. Okay, I don't want to call it derailed, but you might get maybe um, you might have to go through other parts to get to where you want to be. You know, so for example, if you don't get in after undergrad, you'd have to do an honors option. That's just a different path. It's a different route to your final destination. You might not get in after your honors and get in after your master's. It's just a longer route to get to where you want to be. But don't lose sight of your goal and just work hard at it and always believe in yourself. Secondly, this is mostly for um, Bachelor of Health Sciences students, is when you're choosing your major your major in in third in third year i'd advise you to choose an option that you love choose something that you're going to enjoy you know don't listen to what everybody else tells you to do choose something that you're going to enjoy something that you know you're going to excel in and secondly choose an option that would allow you to get into a major into an honors option that you would like to do should you not get into medicine so always keep that in mind yes you want to get into medicine, but what happens if you don't get into medicine? So when choosing your majors, just keep that in mind. You know, choose something that you're going to love, something that you're going to excel in, because you don't want to do something where you're going to enjoy it and you're only doing it because somebody told you you're going to get higher marks and then you're going to get into 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 GEMP and then you get there and then you don't enjoy it and then you don't work hard at it and there goes your average. So choose something that you're going to love and enjoy and choose something that's going to maybe take you through another route should you do not get in directly and surround yourself with positivity surround yourself with optimism surround yourself with people who are on the same journey as you surround yourself with people who are on the same journey as you you know people so that way you work hard because the motivation is all around you guys are all working towards the same goal or at the very least if these people that you're with are not looking to get into GEMP then surround yourself with people who at least know what your goal is and are willing to support you through that you know because it just makes it a whole lot easier if everyone around you or surrounding you is um, working towards the same thing and just wanting to get there you support each other you're there for each other you motivate each other you know and the best feeling is you get there together you know you get there together and lastly for those who are going to write the web test if you write the web then Find someone who knows someone who knows someone who knows someone who wrote the web or, you know, who has resources for you to get um, to study for the web or whatever it is. We've got groups, telegram groups where advice is being given, where past papers are being shared. Advert. So find these people, um, contact them and let someone hook you up so that you're, you're adequately prepared for the web. And go in there, give it your best, and just just do it. You know, it is possible. It is possible. Sometimes you, you might have to wait a little longer for it to happen, you know. And last but not least, pray. If you are a believer in prayer, then pray. You know, whilst you work hard, you can't just have the one without the other. But whilst you work hard, um, pray and, you know, ask God to make your journey easy for you. And I hope those advices really help and I hope they really, really go a long way because um, that's how I went through it and that's how I eventually got to where I am today. Prayer and surround yourself with people who are optimistic, surround yourself with people who know where they're going and who are hopefully working to get to where you want to be too. Our greatest glory is never in falling, but in rising every time we fall. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel to get more videos like these. Thank you to the new subscribers, very much appreciated.